So with hand washing, soap and water, and it doesn't have to be antibacterial soap. Soap, soap and water hand wash works by actually lifting the germs off your hands and then rinsing them away. What you want is warm water, not hot or cold, because that's actually gonna chap your skin. And if your skin is chapped, it gives places for bacteria to hide out that when you wash your hands again, they're not gonna be washed away because they're hiding out in those chapped hands. So lather and friction is the key. So you get the palms of your hands between your fingers, the backs of your hands, and you're, you wanna get your cuticle areas too. So we can either do it this way or this way. And then making sure you get your thumbs. People often miss the thumb on their dominant hand. That's gonna take about 20 seconds. So we've got lather and friction everywhere. And then we rinse our hands off. And then you can take a paper towel and dry your hands. We use the paper towel to turn off the faucet. The alcohol hand sanitizer, you take a pump of it and you do the same thing. You wanna get between your fingers, the backs of your hands, your cuticle areas, make sure you get your thumbs. And as you're doing this, the alcohol is drying. And that is how alcohol actually kills bacteria and viruses. It's in the process of drying. So a lot of, I've seen people where they maybe grab too much alcohol sanitizer, and then they wanna kinda of like wipe it off a little bit. You don't want, you just wanna rub it in. So we often look like we're worried when we're in the hospital walking into a patient room because we're wringing our hands, but we're actually just rubbing in the alcohol.